The new air defense missile system that Iran unveiled on Saturday is so nimble that its operational preparedness time is below three minutes, Defense Minister Brigadier General Mohammad Reza Ashtiani said. After unveiling the Armin anti-ballistic air defense missile system today, the defense minister said the Agile system can be prepared for operation in less than three minutes. The tactical system is employed for mid-range high-altitude operations, the general noted, adding that Armin can detect targets at a distance of 180 kilometers and engage them in a range of 120 kilometers. Armin, also known as Tactical Sayyid, is furnished with a short-range self-protection system in one of its silos that makes the weapon immune to low-altitude threats. General Ashtiani also pointed to another achievement unveiled in the ceremony, saying the Azarix low-altitude missile system is designed to protect the country's vital and important centers against hostile drones and micro-air vehicles MAVs. He noted that Azarix can be installed on various vehicles and carry out round-the-clock operations to bring down diverse targets thanks to its advanced three-dimensional radar system, optical search mechanism, and advanced seekers. Iran for the first time showcased a replica of the tactical Sayyid air defense system at the International Military Forum Army 2023 in Russia in August 2023. The self-protection system is installed in one of the missile turrets of the Armin ABM defense system, rendering the weapon resistant to probable low-altitude attacks. The new air defense system also has more mobility, since its radars and missile launchers are integrated into a single vehicle. The Azarix Thunderbolt low-altitude defensive system is reported to provide close-in, low-altitude surface-to-air weapon fires in defense of forward battle zones, maneuver forces, critical regions, facilities, and or units engaged in special or autonomous operations. Iran for the first time showcased a replica of the tactical Sayyid air defense system at the International Military Forum Army 2023 in Russia in August 2023. In recent years, Iranian military scientists and engineers have achieved great advances in the production of a wide spectrum of indigenous equipment, allowing the armed forces to operate independently. Iranian officials have frequently stated that the country would not hesitate to develop its military capabilities, particularly missile power, which is only intended for defense, and that Iran's defense capabilities will never be negotiated. Ayatollah Said Ali Khamenei, the leader of the Islamic Revolution, has consistently urged for measures to preserve and strengthen Iran's defensive capabilities. Last year, Iranian Defense Minister Ashtiani noted that Tehran intends to unveil a brand new cutting-edge air defense system in the near future. The minister said that only Iranian military experts were involved in the design and production of the domestically produced military equipment. General Ashtiani went on to add that the development of this technology is consistent with the defense ministry's policy of surprising the adversary and developing several scenarios for potential future struggles. According to the Iranian general, the defense ministry was successful in designing and manufacturing a number of surface-to-air missile SAM, systems, including Baber 373, Belief 373, Corded 15, Talash, Endeavor, and Merced, Ambush. Ashtiani also stressed that integrating modern missile defense systems and boosting deterrent power would enable Iran diversify its air defense capabilities and increase the engagement capabilities of its armed forces.
he praised the Defense Ministry for having 400 innovation centers and 4,500 researchers, making it to rank first in the country. With such a huge capacity, a thousand projects are currently underway, which only a small portion is reported to the media he added. Brigadier General Ashtiani noted that his ministry is working to improve military prowess by increasing the production of both military and civilian items and services. boosting the capability of missiles, drones, air defense, and electronic warfare, and pursuing defense diplomacy, with a focus on export capacity building. He also stressed that due to the efforts of the Defense Ministry, we registered a threefold increase in exports, a twofold rise in the production of civilian goods and services, and an 81% increase in military production last year. This path will continue with more strength and endeavor this Persian calendar year which is named inflation control, growth in production he continued. Ashtiani pointed out that there are no restrictions on Iran purchasing military equipment. No, it is not prohibited, wherever we need. We do not feel any restrictions in providing the needs or exporting.